Nice rifle. Oh, yeah. A little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. He'll be there. <laughs> Damn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Carter to ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, Whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, and that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah, yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, you won't see us coming. You got it. I'll get us there. You just hang on. Gotta finish this. Right behind you. We gotta head 
head south from here. Following you. It's easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, ho hold on. Look, I got this. Not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. Get the charges planted. More rippers! Dick! I got him. Charge. 
me in position. Just uh, move your ass. Okay, you try doing this with one hand and a blade. Hey, come on, man. Sometimes I wish I had a blade hand. And that's it. Kind of busy here. You got him? I see him. Wait a minute, was this already? <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? Let's, uh, let's go find Josie. Yeah. Brother, you, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah, I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Oh, uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Yes, we all did. Right, looks like we're going on foot from here. You want to stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You want some payback? I'll show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. 
You get my point. Oh, shit. More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they didn't. They just don't know it yet. Deke! Our left! Our left! Yeah, yeah, I got this.
find Jesse. Oh, yeah. It's time to finish what we started. Now, these guys seem more jacked up than usual. Oh, yeah. Must have snorted up the rest of whatever the hell drug they take. There's no way you're getting up there. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Here. No. I'll boost you up. Okay, listen. If something happens to me, there's a trail not far from here. No, 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 no. Listen, that is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. Jesse Williamson, brought low. Oh, do you remember back in the day? You and Bruce held me down. Watch it burn the flesh from my back. Those, those memories kept me from being free. Jack. Jack thought I was crazy, but I knew, I knew what you were. Mongols! I was one of them! good being out in this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I know maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Wow. With Jesse gone, how many do you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo, so there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. You know, like I said, I... I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. There probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then. And what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. See, I still don't know. I hope you're there. Hope there's 
There's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, ah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shit storm in Sherman's camp. But now... After all this, I just thought, hell, I, maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh, I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wish it ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. Here now. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine.
Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up, sir. property. We're... Now turn around. Get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Oh, uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Oh shit, look out! <laughs> Every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not going to change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out. I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh... It's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. 
Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. Miss Whitaker's returning. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. Well, Brian, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brian out. about the freighter sometime. Seen him around. Addy, you there? The Addy, yeah, what's up? Set this I, uh, I got How's Boozer that? the dog, and, and it worked, just like you said. <laughs> well, I'm glad. You know, you're a good friend to him. He's lucky to have you. What can I get for you? Sandy. We're gonna run out of this someday, you know. See you around. Uh, hold on a second. I'll get it. Dude, you there? Yeah, yeah booze man, what's up? I just, I just wanted to say thanks. No worries, brother. I mean, it, it followed me, you know? Wouldn't leave me alone. What was I supposed to do? Hey, hey, get down. Hey. Yeah, sure it followed you. Hey, uh, name him Jack. <laughs> yeah, Jack would have loved Can that. Can I help you? Uh, no, he wouldn't have, which is why I did it. Easy, easy, boy. All right, all right, enough, enough. Okay, Deke, I gotta go. Boozer out. Deke, we got a real problem on our hands. 
You remember Richard Marsden? He used to ride for us. Oh, you mean Rick the Prick Marsden? Yeah, I remember him. I thought Al Kai ran him out of camp. He did. But oh, I guess Marsden wasn't too happy about it. He joined a group of drifters down at the Black Crater, led an attack against a supply run. We lost three men. Oh, shit. I never liked that son of a bitch anyway. I'll take care of him. Oh, thanks, Deke. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how's it going? Uh, hold on a second. I'll get it. Hey, you there? Yeah, booze man, what's up? I just, I just wanted to say thanks for the dog. No worries, brother. I mean, it, it followed me. You know? Wouldn't leave me alone. What was I supposed to do? Hey, hey, get down. Hey. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hey, uh, hey Jack. <laughs> Jack would have loved that. Ish. Is she alive or isn't she? I have yeah. something to give you. Well, Brian. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. Deep. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Booze man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um. The night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Oh, hey, me again. I know, I know. It's uh, been a while since I've been up here. It's just, um... Okay, we uh, had a run-in with the Rippers, uh, with Carlos. See, um, turns out Carlos is actually this two-bit hood we knew from before. Back in the day, he was a fully patched member of the MC. Yeah, I know, what are the odds of him surviving? Jesse goddamn Williamson when so many others died. And uh, I never told you what happened to Jesse? Uh, well, you know, because you hate it when I talk about club shit. So let's just say that some bad shit went down. Really bad shit. And Jack, he, uh, he, well, he kicked Jesse out of the club, but you can't take your colors with you. See, that, that's a problem. So, problem is Jesse had a mongrel's tat on his back. It just, like mine, you know, so 
Yeah, me and Boozer, Jersey Jim, we held him down while Jack uh, took a welding torch to, uh, to his back. Look, well, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. I, I never told you because... Uh, because I knew that you would never be with someone who could do something like that. And, uh, hey, <laughs> you know, I would tell you that I've changed, but at this point, there's, there's no reason to lie to you anymore. I killed him. Jesse. I had to. I mean, the guy was a goddamn psychopath. But, uh... We didn't stop with him. Boozer and I, we we blew them up. The Rippers, we blew up their camp. We drowned them like a bunch of sorry rats. And you know what? I'm not sorry. I just thought you should know. Okay. I gotta go. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. This is... It's Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror, global warming, none of that matters now. Now that we're in the shit, but it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror was just smoke and mirrors, started by good old Uncle Sam, using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists, well in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their ass off. Is that about it? So, Jesus. That's, uh... It's actually pretty good advice, for once. A little late, but it's good advice. Information? What information, O'Brien? What the hell could you possibly have left to say? That I would give a damn about.
Saw something. Gotta keep that. Under fire, get down. There's another one. I got you now, asshole. He's got me flanked. He's on you. That's it. You're done. How do you like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? You murdering sons of bitches. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah? Can use this. <laughs> 